welcome back to One Crafty Ginger. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance finds, thrift store flips, and some rescue docks, then you're in the right place. So today I have a really awesome haul for you guys. It's from my time at Vintage Market Days of Northern Utah. They have so many amazing things, so much to choose from, so many things. It's just wonderful. I spent three days there. My mom flew in from Arizona. We shopped, we walked around, we enjoyed yummy food, we enjoyed live music, we enjoyed browsing and shopping, and it was just a great time. So let's go ahead and jump in. So I'm gonna show you my favorite item that I got from Vintage Market Days, and you guys, look. Look at how cool this is. Like, it doesn't even fit in the frame. This is a vintage jack-o'-lantern blow mold. It does not have the light kit in the back, but that's okay, because you can order those online or like buy them at Home Depot. So you put the light in, and then you turn it on, and he lights up. Isn't that cool, you guys? I just, I love him. I've been wanting one of these for literally years, and I've been scouring Facebook Marketplace, places, Facebook Marketplace, and the thrift stores and all sorts of places and I got a good deal on this guy at Vintage Market Days and he's so cool and he's just he's so awesome so that is my favorite find there so some of my other favorite things that I got actually this is all my favorite things like I wouldn't have bought it if I didn't like it um, obviously one of the things that I always get when I go to Vintage Market Days is a heartfelt blanket so if you watch my previous Vintage Market Day haul video, you'll know that the gal that makes these wonderful, soft, wonderful blankets has had seven open heart surgeries, at least seven, maybe more. And she started this company to raise money to pay her medical bills for all of her open heart surgeries. And she is just as sweet as can be. She's one of the nicest ladies. She's local to me, we're local-ish to me. She lives like a few cities down the road and she's super sweet and she has the most amazing blankets. So my husband's favorite color is green. So look at this beautiful green plaid and then it has an underlay of green and it is like one of the softest blankets like you'll ever, you're ever, you're, you'll ever feel. It's just so great and it's not super heavy. They're really great. So they're really great for the summer too when you want like a nice, like you know when you're watching TV on the couch or watching a movie and you want a blanket on you but you don't want a heavy blanket. Like this, these, the heartfelt blankets are just amazing. And if you guys want to shop any of these awesome places that I will share with you guys, I will put their websites in the description box below. And then you can also find them, I believe on Instagram, I'll tag them down too. And if you go see them, go shop with them, tell them that I sent you. Okay, so we have the comfy blanket, and speaking of comfy, we'll continue with the comfy theme. Um, my mom got me this really fun sweatshirt. It says, Salty Period. It's a hoodie. I love hoodies. It's this gorgeous green, which kind of matches my shirt, which is vintage. So this also has a really great story. The gal that started this Salty um, brand she started it because she, her mom was diagnosed with breast cancer and she was upset, she was angry, she was bitter, she was salty. And so she was a, she's a crafter and so how she dealt with it when she had to go to support her mom for her first chemo appointment, um, she made a sweatshirt that said salty. <laughs> And she wore it and everybody at the hospital loved it. Everybody there loved it. They thought it was a great concept. So she started making um, more shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies that said salty to express her saltiness, her bitterness of her mom battling breast cancer. So it's again, another really great story, a good family to support and poor thing. So her mom has battled breast cancer and survived twice. And she was recently diagnosed again with breast cancer for the third time and she is fighting for her life again and i just i can't imagine what it would be like to to, to battle it and beat it twice only to get it again a third time i just the strength to continue to to, to fight on and not give up just amazes me so you know it it's 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 amazing that she's doing that and I just I love it salty because you know what sometimes we're sometimes we can all be a little salty you know and that's okay we can all be a little salty sometimes we can all be a little bitter a little angry and you know what that's okay it's it's all right it's just how you deal with it moving forward um, 
so let's go on a more positive note. Um, I got so one of my companies that I also shop for, not companies, they're not companies, they're just small businesses, family owned, is Wild North Design. They're in Manaway, Utah, and they make the most amazing wood products like cutting boards, carving boards, charcuterie boards, and earrings. And you guys, look at these gorgeous laser cut wood earrings. Aren't they stunning? So I actually have this pair. I got this pair as a gift because I did do a little bit of Christmas shopping. Don't knock it, y'all. Like if you shop through the year, you buy a little bit here, a little bit there, you won't be broke at Christmas. And then this pair, I had to get a pair for me. This pair is for me. So they're so pretty. And they're really lightweight too. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, they're not super heavy. They're really lightweight. So they're not gonna like weigh down on your ears and they're gorgeous. So there's another uh, uh, people that were there, the Sassy Barn, I have to look at it because they're new to me. So it's called Sassy Barn, and they, they have these vintage spoons that they hand stamp. I don't know if you could tell, this one actually, if you can see it, it says Stay Spooky. I don't know if you could see it, it has like, and it's a vintage spoon, and they do like all sorts of different sayings and all sorts of things with it, it's super cool. So this was fun. I thought it'd be fun to display, you know, in like a, a cup, like in my hot cocoa bar or whatever. That was super cool. And then also food related, one of my other favorite places to go is Mad Dash Mixes because they have the most amazing mixes, like soup mixes that are so easy. These two are our favorites. So this one is the Chicken Chile Verde Mad Dash Mixes. And with this, all you need to do is five cups of water, two cups of cooked chicken, one medium potato diced, and then mix. Bring it all to a boil, heat, return to low, simmer for 20 minutes, and you got yourself a soup. I also love to put this in my crock pot and just let it simmer all day long, and then I don't have to worry about dinner. It's delicious. So this one's my husband's favorite, the chicken chile verde. This one is my favorite. This is the cheesy chicken enchilada soup mix. And with this, you need the soup mix, uh, one 15 ounce, 15 ounce can of tomato sauce, a cup of water, four cups of milk, rotisserie chicken, and then you bring all that to a boil, let it simmer, and then when you're getting ready to serve it, you add in a cup of Mexican blend shredded cheese. And it's super delicious. So I always keep some of these on hand for quick and easy dinners when I'm in a hurry or if I want to throw something in a crock pot and let it just cook all day so we have dinner ready in the evening whenever um, we're ready to eat. So very cool. Like I said, I'll link everybody down below so you can go shop them. They're great. They have all sorts of other different mixes. They're fantastic. And then I had to get, because I know, I know, it's, it's not even October yet. You guys aren't ready for Christmas, but it's coming, y'all. I had to get from Sparrow Candle Company my wax melts for my Scentsy warmers that smell like a Christmas tree because I have a fake tree. Yep, I, I have a fake Christmas tree. I don't have a real tree. I'd love to have a real tree, but with three dogs, it's, it's a lot. So I like to put these in my warmer so when my tree is up, it smells like I have a real Christmas tree. So this one is called Juniper Frost. It's a non-toxic, non-toxic, 100% natural soy wax melts and you know it smells just like a Christmas tree so it comes in this little brick with the little cubes that you pop out and put in your wax warmer and then this one is tree farm this one I think this one's my favorite so juniper frost I think has a little bit of a sweet Christmas tree kind of smell if a Christmas tree can smell sweet but tree farm, oh my gosh, I'm going to get teary-eyed. It reminds me of being a kid and going to the Christmas tree lot with my family and picking out our Christmas tree and the smell, the smell of being in the Christmas tree lot and the smell of all the fresh Christmas trees and then, you know, my parents trying to figure out what Christmas tree to bring home that year. Oh, wow. Sorry. I'm getting a little teary. I'm getting a little sentimental. But they actually, you know, they do say that scent can is the strongest way to relive a memory or to bring back memories is through scent so 
Oh, sorry, I'm getting a little teary. I don't. So they have other wonderful fragrances as well. But like I said, I wanted to get the ones that smell like the trees. So when I have my tree, our house will smell like Christmas. Whew, and guys, getting all, getting all sentimental. So I love, I love goat's milk soap. It's wonderful. It's natural. I like to wash my face with it. And I, and for y'all that have been with me for a while, you know, I have been really, really bad about washing my face. I'm getting better. And one of the reasons why is because I've been getting from Bumble Goat Soap Company some awesome goat milk, goat milk, I can talk, goat's milk soap. Say that three times fast. And what I like to do is I actually will take the bar and I will cut it in half and only use a little bit at a time so it lasts longer. So it's handcrafted soap from goat's milk and raw honey and it's the Bumble Goat Soap. Bumblegoat.com. So like I said, I'll put them down below and I, I just, it's great stuff. They have all sorts of different goat's milk soap with different scents and different fragrances. Um, it's all handmade. It's really great to use natural products, especially on your face. So I got some more goat's milk soap. And then I got, I, uh, so this is actually new to me. Um, I had, they have in the swag bags that they give out. So the first 50 people in line get a swag bag with coupons and goodies and stuff from the vendors. My mom was all about the swag bag life. So we get there early so she can get her swag bag and they had a coupon in there and for a company called Desert, not a company, a business called Desert Aqua. And so they had these really nice, their towels. And they soak up water really well and they don't stay like sopping wet. And so they had some really awesome deals on towel, like hand towels. And look at how big this is, you guys. Like, it's a pretty good size hand towel. And my kitchen is teal, so I got this because it matches like the teal in my kitchen. And it even has like the little hook to hang it up. So I got these because they're super cool. And my husband, you guys, we have hand towels by the sink because we're trying to be better about not using paper towels. I don't know if he like just gets it like gets water in his hands and is like here and just like, you know, like I'm just gonna let it go on the towel because he uses a towel one time and it's completely soaking wet. Like I have to get a new hand towel out because it's totally soaked. Like, I don't know. Anybody else have somebody at their home that does that too? Like they use a hand towel once and it's like drenched. Like, I, I don't get it. Like, did you just pour water on it? What, what the, what's the deal, man? But this one made it through a couple uses of him before I had to pop it in the washing machine because it was soaking wet. So I'm really excited about these. So definitely going to be getting some more. And I think some of these might be in some Christmas presents that my friends and family will get this year as well because they're pretty awesome. And then I think last, but certainly not least, from one of my other favorite places, because I, I love home decor, I love decorating for the holidays. It's one of my favorite things to do. Uh, it's called Sugar and Milk Company. Let's see if you can see the tag. But I got this super cute, look at how cute that is. It's like a, a threading bobbin that they put the cutest little red and white Th th spool, spool. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm not having a stroke. I just apparently don't know how to talk. It's a spool, a, a thread spool, and then they put a bottle brush tree in there. How adorable is that, you guys? And this would also make a really good craft project. So here's your craft inspiration for the day. If you guys want to make something really cool, Get some ribbon, some thread spools, glue some really pretty like thread or ribbon around it, and then just stick a bottle brush tree in there. Ta-da! Super cute holiday decor. How flipping cute is that? You can also do it for Halloween, y'all. You can put like black and white ribbon on here, and then like the little Halloween bottle brush trees that you can get that are like black and orange and stuff. That would be cool. Just saying. So there's your little crafty inspiration for today.
because it's been a while since it's been a hot minute since I've been crafting but I promise you guys we're gonna get back into it my mom came out for like a week we had vintage market days I had to prepare for my mom to come my husband's like why are you cleaning you're cleaning like the Pope is coming and I'm like it might as well be the Pope it's my mother and my mom y'all she kept the house immaculate when I was growing up the house was immaculate she made homemade brownies homemade cookies she was like little miss Susie homemaker so of course I wanted my house to be nice and clean when my mama got here so that meant I spent like three days cleaning everything doing all the laundry making sure the house was clean before she got here and then she came and we visited and we hung out and so that's why y'all haven't seen me in a hot minute but you know what I'm here we're back we'll get back to your normal our normal scheduled programming it'll be okay I promise you but anyway thanks so much for spending some time with me today I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the awesomeness that I got at vintage market days comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was that I found also if you would please give this video a thumbs up it's completely free it helps me out if you want to share that would be appreciated as well thank you so much if you haven't already smash that subscribe button join my family here on YouTube we have a great time obviously and I'm sure hopefully I got some laughs from you guys today because <laughs> it's been a day, y'all. Anyway, till next time, goodbye. All right, guys, this is one of my favorite booths. It's called Bella Chic. And they have the most gorgeous items. It's more Bella Chic. booth like I said guys this is one of my favorite booths Look at these gorgeous picture frames so pretty this is another one of my favorite booths You guys, this place is just amazing. Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at all this copper. You know how I feel about copper. Metal. Suitcases and some for those piggy ships. Oh my goodness, you guys! You know how I feel about Crocs. Look at all of these different Crocs. Oh, look at that moon! How cute! Guys, right, look at all this enamelware. Lots and lots of enamel. All those scales. Y'all, I have found the mother load of rolling pins. Now check it out. $15. I get mine at the thrift store for a dollar. Look. You guys just can sit down and cozy up with a book. How cool is that? Halloween. They got you covered here. All the Halloween. You could possibly... Want. Look at all that. You want Christmas? They got you covered for Christmas too. Look at all those salt and pepper shakers. You guys, this is one of my favorite places too. It is 12 Timbers. They have some of the most cutest things you will ever see. Just look at how cute that is, the Santa Beer Countdown. And all the signs. Alright you guys, I had to take a picture and show you guys. Look at how flipping adorable that Santa Claus picture Santa is. Santa oh my goodness. And then look at all this pretty whites. Woods and whites. So pretty. And look at this Santa Claus. It's coming to town in blank days. They got Halloween too. For your Hocus Pocus fans, I smell children. It's a full moon tonight. That's when all the weirdos are out. 
Yep, I'm a weirdo. Look at those jack-o'-lantern bells, you guys. Look at how cute those are.